What's up everybody, it's BBK Dragoon here, and I'm really excited to bring you a great beginner build order that I put together for Halo Wars 2. This is the Jackrabbit Rush, and it can win a lot of games outright within the very early stages of a match. I've had immense success with this on the ladder over the last, well, it's not a ranked ladder yet, but a lot of success with this build over the last few days, and I think this is going to remain a very effective build for the next month or so until the community really learns how to scout their opponents during the early game and make correct reads and adjustments on their own end because right now very few players are scouting in the early game they're just playing straight up blind and if your opponent does not prepare for this you're going to steamroll and win a lot of games just know however even though i built this to be a cheese build you can transition into a standard macro style game if you make the right decisions if that means you know you hit your opponent's base at the cheese timing he's got way too much defense for you to be able to end the game outright i'm going to walk you through how you can transition into a macro game and take it to the mid and the late and still be at a pretty even footing with your opponent depending on how much damage you inflicted this build opens up with four supply pads right off the bat. You also want to grab your two sets of marines and send them to collect the supplies that are nearby your base. Every spawning base has a, a few set of supplies nearby that if you send your marines to, they can pick up. You're also going to want to research the mini frag launcher upgrade from your base. This is the key upgrade that we're taking advantage of for this build. This allows your scouting units, the jackrabbits, to actually deal damage. When we reach 150 supplies, we're going to purchase our fifth and final supply pad. Next, we're looking to build a steady stream of Marines. We're going to build two sets of Marines. Each of them cost 150 supply. And then after those first two sets of Marines, we're going to begin building Jackrabbits. If you feel that you're comfortable with this build, you can try and capture the energy tower nearest to your base. Make sure you don't lose any Marines because every set of units are critical. You can micro the Marines to where you can kill all of the Sentinels with just two sets of Marines. All you need to do is when one set of Marines gets weak, micro them back so they're out of the DPS range of the Sentinels, and that should give you enough time for you to wipe out the Sentinels and take that energy tower. We also want to take one of these smaller one pad bases that are near to our original base and we're going to get ourselves a supply pad on this base as well. The timing for this is usually around a minute 45 to two minutes into the game. This whole time we're steadily creating jackrabbits and marines. By the time the three minute mark rolls around you should have about three jackrabbits and four sets of marines. At this time, you want to gather your forces and traverse over across the map to the enemy team's base. You want to be hitting the opponent's base around the 3 minute and 20 mark to 3 and a half minute mark. When you get to his base, you need to make a lot of quick decisions very fast. Does he have turrets? Does he have vehicles? And how many units does he have? Unless he has more than two turrets and some vehicles, you're most likely safe to go in for the attack. If he has vehicles and two turrets, you want to be careful and not to lose your units. You can go in and try and kill one of the turrets, or you can try and force units out of his and bait them into a fight that they will lose. 90% of the time, the opponent, unless they're super scared and defensive, will have no turrets or maybe just one turret. If that's the case, focus fire the turrets and focus fire the enemy units. A lot of times enemies when they get hit with this panic and purchase a turret, you can begin inflicting damage to that turret before it's delivered. It takes a while for that turret to arrive. So if you see the little smoke plumes coming up where the turret stands are, immediately shift your focus from the enemy's base onto that turret to try and do as much DPS as possible before that turret can attack you. All during the attack, you need to be reinforcing units with new jackrabbits and new marines. You can even use some of the jackrabbits coming across the map, as you've accumulated more minerals at this point, to take some of the other one-pad supply bases. You want to be doing this. That way, if this attack fails, you still have income and resources available to you to transition into a more macro-oriented game. It's imperative that you don't lose that first ball. If you lose them in a fight, the enemy's probably gonna walk across the map with their forces and just take your base out flat. That's gonna be just the end of the match right there. You're very behind economically at this point. You've invested a lot of supply into this attack, and if you can't make it work, 
it's pretty much lights out. However, as long as you make the correct read when you look at his forces and decide is this a fight that I can take or not take, you should be fine most of the time. Last, I want to bring up the fact that how do you stop this build if you're on the receiving end of it? Well, if you're wanting to play a more macro style open, get a Jackrabbit, you don't have to get the mini frag launcher upgrade. Use that Jackrabbit in the very early stages of the game to scout his base and see what kind of units he's building. You can see really quickly if he's getting the Jackrabbits with the mini frag launcher upgrade. If that's the case, you want to build some turrets and immediately get into some sort of vehicle production to combat his infantry forces. It's actually not very hard to stop, but most people aren't scouting right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions for me about this build, please let me know down in the comments section below. And also, I'm giving away a free copy of the Halo Wars 2 official strategy guide. This thing is really gorgeous. I've got some digital codes to give away. All you need to do to be entered is like this video and leave a comment down below. I'll pick the winner one week from the release date of this video, so keep an eye on your YouTube message inbox, as that's where I'll send the code. Really gorgeous guide with tons of information. I cannot recommend it enough. They did a phenomenal phenomenal job outlining all of the units details the specifics the stats all of the different maps and of course if you want to go for all the collectibles in this game all the details are in this guide thanks for watching everybody have a good day and we'll see you next time